Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So I've got quite a bit on today. I need to get the RX-7 FD MOT'd and whilst it's out in the daylight, I need to have a better look at the damage that the lightning strike caused in my unit. Obviously all the glass, plastic and everything hit the car. I did explain this in a different video. So I need to have a look at that and see what I can repair myself. Probably just using a touch-up stick to be honest because I'm not gonna be sanding down panels and stuff just for the sake of a few chips over the car. Uh, so I'm very very lucky as I said in the other video, but it is what it is I'm just gonna try and do my best today get it repaired. I've got a lot of things coming up in the car I've got plus four four next. I've got summer action day JDM Coombe sevens day um, and A few more I think so I do need to get this sorted out today really So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel <laughs> Well, at least the weather's looking really good today because last year it was absolutely tipping down when I got my last MOT, so it's a complete flip. Uh, currently just stuck behind this bloody caravan doing 30 mile an hour or less in some places. But uh, yeah, hopefully the MOT goes well and then like I said, I'm gonna start looking at this damage on the car. Uh, Chris with the half bridge ported RX-7, he's got one of the PZ black touch-up sticks. So I'm kind of hoping um, that does the job really and then I'll run my DA polisher over it if I can but yeah fingers crossed that the MUT goes well first The MOT done, it has passed, thank God. Uh, so now I'm gonna head back to my unit, whilst the weather is good, have a look at these stone chips, get that repaired, and then I'm just gonna go out for a random drive today. through Laycock there really really nice as you can see just stopped off and just took some more pictures because good opportunity the roads are quiet so why not uh, yeah so heading back to the unit now right okay so I've just come back from the MOT as I said uh, I'm just gonna wipe down the RX-7 now quickly so we can see where all the paint damage is and then uh, I'm gonna make my way from the front to the back trying to repair some of this stuff I've just completely forgot, obviously I've got no electric down here so I can't use the DA polisher today but I'll have to do that in a different video. I forgot to say earlier, I got caught in a storm yesterday on the bike because I took it to Kemble two days ago and then took the bike straight home and then went to work. The weather was perfect and then literally three quarters of the way back to my unit I got caught in a bloody rainstorm. Look at the state of it, it's a right mess. So that's on my list to do today as well. and. Uh, yeah, plenty to do. Here's Sam in his A86, going out for a drive with his daughter. Looking clean as usual. So 
So I've given the RX-7 a good wipe over. It's already collecting dust being in the black paintwork, but it is what it is. Um, I've had a brief look. There is quite a lot of chips, to be honest. So the bonnet's got multiple ones. Um, two here. One over there, one on the top, one over here, one in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chips on the bonnet over this side. No, make that eleven, that's quite a bad one. Uh, so I may as well start with the bonnet first. And I need to make my way round to the side. I think this wing's not too bad. I think it's just the one on this wing, which is very minor, which is okay. The roof's taken the worst of the uh, explosion. You can see all up here, part of that's cloth to be fair. Um, bits of the cloth's got stuck into the chips on the roof. But you can see there's just loads all over the top and that was where my socket was at the back of my unit. I'll show you quickly. For you guys that haven't seen my other video. So we had some lightning hit the unit. It, came, it went through the back. Um, it's been repaired uh, pretty much around the back just needs to move in off and then repainting. But this socket here completely exploded into millions of pieces. My car sits here. So basically you can see that all the shards of plastic and glass and whatever else has just gone all over the, uh, the roof. Um, I've got all my stuff over here at a second. Again, here's some more of the, uh, the plugs that were on my table, completely obliterated. And the glass from the floodlight up there, you can see, is another thing that went all over the car so unfortunately i'm just gonna have to touch them up with this stick i've got the pz black stick off of chris which has got the half bridge ported rx7 um so thanks to him for letting me borrow that back to the car um the side is okay pretty much on the door side of stuff there is some damage on the pillar uh, slightly over this side the pillar over the other side's got a bit damaged i say the roof's the worst um, and I think there's one or two chips on the rear quarter on the other side. I don't think that's one. No, yes, yeah, the other side. Come round. Uh, yeah, so there's a bit here that needs touching up, a bit on the door, and quite a big bad chip off the Master Speed spoiler. The bottom looks okay. Uh, round the back, amazingly, was untouched. I cannot believe that radiator didn't hit this car, but. Thank God, that's another story. So yeah, I'm just basically gonna touch these bits up and in another video, I'm gonna have to get my DA polisher out and finish off trying to do my best getting the paintwork back to looking how it was. So yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> So I think that's pretty much all I can do today regarding the chip damage done to the paint using this touch-up stick. It's never going to be the best job because you need to start sanding back panels and stuff to get it absolutely mint. And I can't use my DA polisher because of the lightning strike issues. I've got no electric like I was saying in my unit. So what I'm going to do is just use some of my Meguiar's products by hand. It's just as good to be honest uh, because the car's already ceramic coated from previous times that I've been doing it. So yeah, you can see it's looking pretty much mint in the background anyway, so I'm happy. Now I do have a lot of stuff coming up in the next two months, so plus 4-4, four, four, multiple Castle Coombe events, uh, Sevens Day, I'm going to Goodwood Festival of Speed for two days, we've got Chris's Half Bridge Ported RX-7 coming up for remapping, so definitely keep an eye on my channel in the next few months, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider it because there's a lot yet to come. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video anyway guys, and I will catch you in the next one.